Today we're going to be using GIMP to clean up a projection map drawing that we've done of our house. Now GIMP is an open source software. It's totally free. It's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, basically runs on almost anything. And so it's a great free alternative video, or I'm sorry, graphic editor. Uh, and so we're going to be using that today. Uh, so we're, let's open up GIMP. And let's go ahead and I'm going to bring in the uh, picture uh, that I drew basically of my house using my projector and uh, here it is uh, but there's a few issues with it uh, we've got some missing lines here uh, some of the lines I did not complete uh, and we've got a few little uh, doodads sticking off over here that probably shouldn't be there uh, so we need to fix all these problems and we're gonna do that in GIMP uh, the very first thing we want to do though is we want to make sure that we have a transparency layer built into this picture. Uh, now GIMP does not automatically add a transparency layer uh, and uh, so you need to check to make sure yours has one. Uh, so what you want to do is go under layer under the menus, go to transparency, and then you want to add an alpha channel. Now notice this ghosted out here and that's because this image already has an alpha channel so I don't need to add one but if you did not go ahead and click that button it will add the transparency layer that way when you save off this image and use it later on uh, to create your mask uh, it'll have the transparency layer that you need. Also make sure that you're drawing in black and white here so you want to make sure your colors are set that's pure black and pure white. If you want to change the colors, click on whatever sample color you want to change. And it's going to come up with the color picker. Now if I hold my mouse button down, I can drag. And if I drag to the far upper left hand side, that is pure white. And you notice these numbers are all 100. And if I click and drag to the lower right hand side, then these numbers are all zero and that's pure black. So that's how you change the colors to black and white. And to do our drawing, we're gonna have the, we're gonna use the pencil tool, which is N. You could also press N to select it if it's not uh, available in the menu. And uh, there's a few things we wanna do though. First of all, we wanna set our brush, not to any of these crazy things, but to just a pixel. And also we wanna make sure the hardness is set to 100%. That means it's not going to create like a little fuzzy line, which might be great for a pencil drawing, but is not what we want here. We want clean, sharp, straight lines. And so we want our hardness to be set to 100, the brush to be set to pixel, and we're going to be using the pencil tool. Now I have the size set to three pixels. Uh, if my lines were uh, thicker, I would set that up higher to match, or if they were thinner, I would turn it down to match. Uh, but these lines are about three pixels, and so this will be perfect. Now to clean up this picture, it's really hard to kind of work on it when we're when it's zoomed out like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in and with uh, GIMP you zoom in using the plus and minus keys to go in and out. By the way, you can also find all the stuff over here under your zoom settings. You know, here's the plus and the minus as uh, the default hotkeys for that. Uh, there's also like fit the window and stuff like that which is really handy and of course you can set a manual zoom if you wanted to but I'm just going to use the uh, plus and minus keys. So very first area we want to fix is down here I didn't draw that line I definitely need to do that and also too I need to fix this corner where I didn't complete the line uh, so let's zoom in I'm going to zoom in really big and then I'm going to use the scroll bars here to find that area. And again, this is that corner of the house that we're missing that line. And again, I didn't complete this corner. Now to draw a straight line in GIMP, uh, what you do is you select your starting location and you click once to put down a point. And you notice that I actually put one of those three pixel dots in here. Uh, and then I'm gonna hold down my shift key though before I draw, continue to draw. And that's gonna create this little rubber bandy thing here. And it's gonna draw a straight line between these two points. So we click right, right there. Looks like that's completed about the same angle that it should be, roughly. Uh, and I'm gonna come over here again. I'm gonna click and hold down my shift key and go to about where the line should end and click again. And then I'm going to hold down my shift key for my other dot and continue on there. And now I've completed my corner. Now, by the way, if you make a mistake, uh, like I didn't draw it straight or something like that, uh, I'm actually a little bit off here anyway, I could use Control Z to undo it. If I control Z again, of course it's gonna undo 
the last step before that. And by the way, control Y brings back a control Z. So if I control Y, my first little segment comes back and then my second little segment comes back. Okay, now that's the basics. So all you're gonna do is you're just going to go through your house and clean it up. Uh, the real key here is we need to make sure that each one of these boxes that we've uh, drawn are completely enclosed because later on we're going to be selecting them using an automatic selection tool and it's basically going to find the edges of these boxes and we're going to uh, use them to create mask however if there's a gap basically that selection process will leak out and go into areas that we don't want so uh, let's just kind of go ahead and clean these up and also too i'm just a bit of a neat freak so uh, you know some of these don't need to be done but i'm just going to do them anyway uh, and a prime example here is to like this little gap right here although it's technically closed there is a little pixel right there that just looks a little messy to me so i'm going to clean that up uh, you know, and also too, you don't have to always create lines like this little corner might be missing a pixel. Again, not necessary. I'm going to click there and just clean it up. Uh, here in this little vent, it's in my, uh, above my garage, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that's nice and closed. And then also though, we have this little bit over here that I drew that's a little bit, that line is a little bit too long. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean that up also. Now, right now I'm drawing in black. Control Z, by the way, Doop, gone. Uh, instead, I want to draw in white, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these two colors, and the way you do that is you press this little double direction arrow here, and it will swap the colors. And of course, if I press it again, it swaps them back, but I want white here. And I'm just going to come over here and very carefully click in this area and get rid of those pixels so it looks a little bit neater. I'm going to swap back to draw in black kind of uh, clean up any sort of areas that we find here. This uh, roof angle is a little bit wonky. Again, I'm going to zoom in and out as necessary. Just make sure all of these are, are filled in nicely. I drew in this little light fixture uh, that's above my front door. I really don't want that there. Uh, that was more just kind of a reference uh, for me. And so again, I'm gonna switch over to white and then I'm gonna draw through this and cover it up. Uh, I could also make my uh, brush bigger over here, the size bigger to make that easier to erase. Uh, but uh, then you'd have to of course make sure you change it back. Let's see, just make sure all of these are uh, closed in here. Whoops, oh, I'm still drawing white. See, I gotta change it back. And there we go. Okay, and uh, down here, oh, I completely forgot this line down here. Uh, also, too, there's a bit of a mess there. So again, click, hold down the shift key, and come over uh, here, click, kind of fill in that. Uh, this is like a little uh, part sticking out here over here. Probably doesn't need to be there. That was probably an oopsie. Uh, let's actually click here and there to kind of complete that line. And then I'm going to switch to white. Paint it out. Okay, just kind of clean that up a little bit. This is where my uh, bushes are in the front yard that I want to mask around. Uh, oh, here's a little bit part sticking out too much paint that out also uh, and basically that's just the process you just go through here and look for issues like right there is an issue again click oh paint in white so I'm going to undo that swap my colors click hold down the shift key draw that straight line in there and then you're just going to check each one of these is corners missing so again click straight line complete that out and you're just going to do this for the whole process to scan your entire drawing make sure everything is cleaned up and ready to go uh, and of course once you're done with that you want to save it uh, so you would do file and then save as and then you're going to pick whatever you're going to call this i'm going to call this uh, i'm going to add the word test here and hit save 
Okay, but now that saves it in the special GIMP format. Uh, to actually use this image, we need to export it out as a PNG. And the reason why you use PNG is because PNG, again, supports transparency, which is going to be real important in the next part of this process. So let's do File, whoops, File, uh, Export, and make sure we have PNG selected here. Uh, call it whatever you uh, want here. It automatically named it the name of the project, which is fine for right now. I'm going to uh, select here in this folder, uh, hit uh, export. It's gonna pop up this little box. I leave all these defaults uh, as is and just click export so I don't have to ever change any of that stuff. Uh, and that's it. Uh, so we'll have a nice cleaned up image of our house drawing uh, and then we're going to use that to create mask in the next step. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Thank you very much.